Hello everyone. So last week we did the fight song and the week before that I think we had a review of pop tosses. So today we're just going to talk through some more tosses that we've done before or that are just pretty common um, that are just a good reminder to get back in our bodies. So the first one is going to be a cross toss. So for cross toss, um, on the right we're going to have our right hand thumbs down at the tab, left hand is going to be money hand splitting the tapes. So for a cross toss, like the name, we're going to cross our arms. We're just going to take this setup and we're going to rotate it until we're all the way pretty much back up at this straight up and down. Yes, that's our release point. So when we release, we're going to here and we're just going to let go. The flag is going to spin, I think, either two times or one and a half times to get to this lower 45. We'll catch with the right hand under, left hand over. Um, at this nice strong angle. So again, that was a nice second position, thumbs down, funny hand, plus catch. Nice strong catch. And one more time, plus one, two, three. Um, the biggest thing with this is making sure you release with enough power to get it all the way around. A lot of times the tendency is to be under so we don't get it all the way to here, but occasionally you can spin it over we just want enough to get to that lower 45 right here uh, we can do the same thing on the left if we have our left hand thumbs down right hand at money we cross and catch at this other angle left hand under right hand over so again ideally staying in one place releasing straight up Those are cross tosses. Um, the next one would be money, money hand toss or J toss. So again, just like its name, we're making a J for this J toss. So we'll start kind of similar. For the right, our left hand, we have the tab, right hand, money at splitting. And like we said, you're gonna pull down with that left hand and that right hand is what's gonna give it its path in a J and your release point is up at this upper 45. So J and then after we release it about here-ish, the hand keeps going straight up so that way the flag goes straight up and we can catch it at that same lower 45 shoulder hipping. So again, we have one, two, three. And that's a J toss, yeah. Again, the biggest things are making sure you have that little flick of your wrist. Your wrist is gonna flick out to keep that flag its rotation. The rotation is gonna come from the force of that pull, but also the rotation of your hand. Um, but again, you wanna extend it straight up after so it actually goes straight up and down. Let me catch it here. So that's our J toss. Um, we can prep it like I just did. Um, you can count five, six, seven, eight, oops. Five, <laughs> six, seven, eight and up, two, three. Or we can also prep by going over, over at the tape and tab and swing it up, grab it money, and then out. I think that would be five, six, seven, eight, and out, two, three. So that's our J toss. Um, the last toss, it's pretty basic that we'll go through, is a flat toss. Again, just as like its name, it's nice and flat. So you'll start on the right with the right hand, the tab, thumb towards the silk, left hand at, sorry, under, over. So actually thumbs will be um, towards the pole. So left hand at that tape, right hand at the tab. And it's gonna follow this pathway. This is your release point. It's gonna start here. And we're just gonna move the flag through flat. Notice how it's staying flat the entire time. So our release point is here, nice and flat above your head. So again, this, flat, this toss is not super high. It's gonna just pop straight up, spin one time. We're gonna catch it pretty much exactly where we tossed it from, our hands will just be flipped. So we start under, over, and we're gonna catch over, under. So again, that's just out, catch. Nice and strong, both hands at the same time. Um, the biggest thing with this one is not to be scared of it. It's scary because it's right over your head, but if you're giving it just the right amount of force, if you're keeping it, if you go through this checkpoint, of keeping it flat the whole time and a release here, 
it's not going to hit you in the head. Um, it feels scary because it's right there, but if you're looking at it the whole time, you want to be spotting, spot the tab because that's where your right hand's going to grab it. And there's no way it can hit your head if you're looking at it the whole time. But ideally, you want to catch it closer to your shoulders where you toss it from rather than above your head. But that's a fly toss. The biggest thing is just because the weight is towards the silk, you have to push a little bit harder with that right hand to keep it flat because there's more weight on that side. But you want to keep it flat the whole time. And those are three basic tosses that everyone should practice.